Good day, my friends. How are you? God bless you guys. So I have lots of eggplants that need to be harvested in the garden, along with green beans, as usual. So I'm going to harvest the eggplants and I'm going to prepare them because eggplants have a lot of um, moisture in them. They need to be cooked before they're frozen. At least that's what my research showed me. So I'm going to make eggplant chutney out of them but first i want to show you what i did to my screen doors i put these little latches in these little hooks to hold them together because there was a little crack right there with space so bugs can get in so i need them to be really tight and this is my other set of doors i did the same thing here but this didn't have much of a crack so i only put one latch in so at night time i could hook these and i can leave the other doors open if i want more air coming in um if it's a if particularly hot or humid day it's been hot it's 81 degrees right now it's overcast and it's still 81 degrees a little bit of a breeze and definitely a lot of humidity it's 73 percent humidity out here so i'm going to go out to the garden and collect my eggplants and green beans curry leaves and some chilies for my meal today I like to wear my like breezy cotton dresses and this is my humility cloak. So I like to put that on just as a covering, but it gets so hot. It looks like there's a tomato that needs to be harvested. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. So one tomato so far, let's see what else we could get. Okay. Let's go get some eggplants. If you don't cut them then your the fruit is growing and it's taking draining more energy from the plant oh my goodness four more to harvest here Let's see here one here and then i have one here Let's see two more one here and then this one's too small let's see i mean some people would take it but i'm not going to we're here and that, but they i can let them get a little bit bigger some people will harvest them but i'm going to go ahead and leave them and i've got all these that i've just harvested they're pretty big believe it or not I have seven there so there's some black ones here there's a small one there i'll leave do you see it right there but this one's a little bigger and it's hanging on the ground when they hang on the ground they don't do well, so I'm going to cut that one. Okay, I'll take that one. This one's, oh, see, it's graying, so that means it's hot, ripe. Okay, let's get some green beans. Ooh, I'm hot. There's one more eggplant that I can, I think is big enough to take. It's right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's right in here. Oh, I gotta go a little higher than that. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. That's... Now I'm gonna grab some green beans. <laughs> So I got a bunch of eggplants and green beans and I got my tomato. So there's chilies here, but I think I'm going to get the ghost peppers for the meal. Let's see how many we have. I've got some red ghost peppers in here. 
I've got a couple of them, but that's not enough. So I'll pick those. See, can you see them? And there's another one there. Let's see if this plant has any. Does not. This is a volunteer basil. Basil looks good today, so let's get some basil. We'll put it in the, the dish. It just pops up all over the garden. I have so much basil. It just pops up. Here, let's get some more. I'm making a lot, so. I had to go get a basket because it was just too much to carry. Into the house, this harvest is abundant today. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna be processing these and storing them in jars, freezing them, freezing all this food. I don't have to eat this right now. I can just um, store it for when there isn't food or to give away to others. And I can continue to eat fresh from the garden. So, cause it's continuing to grow. It's such an abundant garden. Thank you, Jesus. That is so good. So this tomato is not needs to ripen, so I'm gonna ripen it upstairs. And this tomato has been ripening and it's ready. So I'll use that in my dish today. Praise God. Isn't God good? He just leads along us along green pastures and still waters. Thank you, Yeshua. Oh, it's such an abundant harvest just from one day. This food will last for months. I can jar them. And it's not like I'm gonna eat eggplants every day, although I could, and green beans. I could eat green beans and eggplants every day from my garden. That's how it is right now. Thank you, Lord. It's just amazing how good God is. Thank you, Father, because you know, the Bible says, I remember when we first planted this, my sister was helping me plant. And after she finished planting some of the plant stuff in January, um, she looked at her phone and the Bible verse popped up that you know, we may plant and water, but God brings the increase. And definitely, I can tell you from my garden, God is the one who's bringing the increase. Thank you, Father. Here, look. Here's my garden right now. I'll show it to you from January so you get an idea of how it looked in January. So this is my garden in January about five months ago. And that's my sister helping me plant. And we had just put up that green bean trellis, where, which is bare and uh, several of my beds have nothing growing in it. So all this growth is from, from the last five months. Several years ago when I was going through a very painful divorce, it was Christmas time, this church came caroling at my house and they gave me a prophetic word. And the word was that you will be a well-watered garden and your waters will not fail. Remember when I first moved here and I was just at a re local restaurant having lunch and it started to rain. It was the middle of the afternoon in August. And I said to the Lord, Lord, it rains a lot here. And the Lord said to me, I'm watering my garden. God is so faithful to his promises. Thank you, Father. Made myself a cup of brewed coffee and I'm getting ready to get started with my processing. So much of growing vegetables is processing. If you don't process your the food you grow, you're gonna lose it. So I need to preserve it. I mean, sometimes you have a big harvest. And here, it's not like you have a particular harvest time. It's just throughout the year. Whenever you see your plants need to be harvested, you just do it. And it's not only good for you, it's good for your plants. So here we go. So I have my eggplant soaking here. So I'm gonna soak my green beans as well and also all this other stuff I have. Now I gave the rabbit, I had a lot of green beans I picked, I gave the rabbits their green beans and these green beans are gonna soak. This is the basil that I'm putting in the eggplant. Here's a curry leaf, which is going in the eggplant too. 
So I'm going to soak all this stuff, this stuff while I prep the onions and all of that. I'm going to kick. And this is uh, being washed as well. I'm going to let it soak for a minute. And all of this stuff will be soaking while I cut. This is starting to drizzle. So I'm just going to sit right out here. Prep myself a little spot to prepare. I've got enough bowls to put everything away. This is a tomato from the garden, a nice big juicy one. So that's going to go in the eggplant curry chutney. And I've got some organic garlic and I've got some ginger, both which came from Costco. Now I'm growing my own ginger. So next soon I'll be using my own ginger. <music> already they're all cut up and ready so these are my herbs I've, I've got my onion I've got my curry leaf chili garlic and ginger in here I've got my tomato and I've got my basil so this will be basically the flavor and the scent I'm gonna be adding some chilies a uh, more chili because this is not enough I do have chili powder and I also have a um, another chili hey Okay, now I'm going to grab these, you know, give them a good uh, scrub, and then I'll take them to be cut. Okay, I've got 10 eggplants I got to cut now. <laughs> so I'm going to get up, take them over here and cut them. Okay, I got to cut all that. And I'm going to cube them as small as possible because it makes it easier to cook the eggplants. I'll put it on fast mode, otherwise it's going to take a long time. finished cutting the eggplants finally. I thought we could take a little break from all the hustle and bustle and cooking of the day and just uh, spend some time in the prophetic word of God in these days. I have to tell you, it is, uh, as you can see, the world is just going in a tailspin. It's like those whirlwinds that are, or uh, tornadoes that are taking place in Oklahoma, Iowa, you know, Ohio, that whole area right there in the Midwest, Tennessee, we see so much devastation and, you know, but that's what's happening spiritually to our planet. And if you look back on my video, I'll put my link below to April, uh, I think it was 2018, where the Lord said that the world was in a whirlwind and it was spinning into end times and it was too late to stop it. And this is a 24 year prophecy that God has given me about what's going on. I say that to say that God just confirmed it again and again over the last 24 years. And now he has me dwelling in safety, in a safe harbor. Even the other day, he gave me this word uh, that he had given through Balaam to the Israelites, to the Canaanites. And it was from Numbers chapter, I think 21, I'll put it in the link here. And it says, firm is your dwelling place and your nest is set in the rock. And I just feel like God has just put me in that place of security, firm foundation. And, and I'm saying that because this is the reward for the children of God. Those who seek his face, who cast down their idols and make him their number one priority. God's just going to put you in a secure place. Just follow the bidding of the Holy Spirit. I mean, I've been... Honestly, God's been training me to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit for a very long time. For 24 years, I've just tried to commit myself to hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's the best thing you can do. If you can learn to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and just still yourself and hear that still small voice and make God your number one priority and cast your idols down, I know that's, that's not, it's easier said than done. 
and to really be delivered from all our attachments to the world i am telling you the the life on the other side is so beautiful it is so beautiful i truly believe that you know we're born again and the holy spirit is a good shepherd leading us and guiding us along green pastures and still waters my yeshua is sitting at the right hand of the throne of the god of father and he's given us the holy spirit to guide us so it's really important to learn to hear the voice of the holy spirit and just keep walking in that and keep walking in that place of obedience and but really the obedience is for your own blessing it's not because god's telling you trying to control you or tell you what to do it's just he's leading you into life you know it's a beautiful journey so i just want to encourage you guys to get on that journey with me and you know that we are in end times and god is going to stick his kids in safe places and some of us are preparing an ark for not only for ourselves but for others i'm learning to grow food not just for myself but for others that god would bring so god bless you guys love you all talk to you later now let's get cooking this is nine green uh thai green eggplants all chopped up and this is my smaller purple i don't think this is a black beauty it's another kind it's supposed to be the small purple eggplant it's a thai eggplant too i'm gonna save this for a different dish okay i've got my heat on at high i'm gonna put some oil in there eggplant needs a lot of oil and since i have a lot of eggplants i need a lot of oil so over here I have my onions and I have my chopped up garlic, ginger, curry leaves and chili. And this is purple basil and this is my tomato from the garden. It's fun cooking out here. I just love this life. It's so peaceful. It's so restful. It's not, you're not competing with the Joneses. You don't have to have the best car. You could have an old car and enjoy your life and have peace. You don't have to have the prettiest house, the biggest house, the biggest kitchen. You don't need a great big island. It's just what you, you just live simple. It's so beautiful. It's just about contentment. All you need is contentment. This is when you can really smell the fragrance, the beautiful scent of the curry leaf and the garlic and the ginger and the onions just mixing together and it really gets in the oil. The oil gets scented. I also like to put some cardamom and um, cloves right now because that adds to the fragrance. You got to crush the cardamom to bring the seeds out for flavor. So then the cardamom goes in here, and then you've got the cloves. Got four cloves here. Put them in. And I'm going to add the tomatoes to create a tomato base. And this. So I'm going to be adding these chilies. Then I add turmeric like two teaspoonfuls at least, and then I saute it, and then some Himalayan sea salt, pink salt, and I mix that in. Then I put in the eggplants, and I put in more eggplants, and more eggplants. Then I just mix that in. Now usually you want a lot of oil, but I'm adding water here because I don't want to waste all my oil, but it does make a difference. So if you can go ahead and use all oil, go ahead. And the cumin powder and coriander ground, that's for the chutney part, it makes good chutney. And then I stir that in into the sauce. You see the water there, but usually you wouldn't have all that water. 
and then I let it simmer for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I come back. Um, I add some more oil because I want to make that chutney now. And, and the eggplants are a little boiled now at this point, so they're softer. And I keep mixing it in and it's gonna break down. See, this is after a while it broke down and I simmered it more. And then now I'm adding the basil and I toss the basil in to give it that fragrance. So this is tamarind concentrate. So I'm just gonna put a little scoop of it, gives an additional tarty, it's tart, just a little bit. Put all that in there. Get a little bit of a tart flavor. It can be tart sweet, but it's just a hint of it, not a lot. Okay, let me show you my eggplant. Okay, we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you how it turned out, and we'll jar it. Okay. Looks great. It's going to be delicious. You really need to cook it in a lot of oil. Uh, this is actually, this dish in India is actually called Yenna Katrika, which means oil eggplant. So it's really the base of it is oil. I actually put too much water in there. It should just be cooked in oil. But I didn't do that because I don't want to waste all my oil. So I added a little water to cheat, but that's why the eggplant is more plump. So it'll be cooked a little bit more when you add the meat that you're going to put in it. So uh, it's going to turn out great. And right now it's uh, fully cooked, but you can cook it more and it actually turns it more into a chutney and that's the goal. So I have these three jars. These are the jars that you get peaches in, in uh, Costco. So I like those peaches, but those jars are awesome. So I'm going to be storing them in these jars. I've washed it really well and sanitized it. So when it cools down, I'm gonna put those, uh, all the eggplants in these three jars and freeze them. So I got only two jar fulls and there's some leftover for dinner. I'm going to put all this in a dish and I'm going to make my green beans now. You can serve it over rice or eat it with a chapati, which you can use a tortilla fried in deep oil. And that would be delicious. So enjoy it. God bless you. Love you all. This is Lady Jesus signing out.